Assalamu alaikum this is Kandil Zahra and you are watching Global TV and Dunia International apna Brooklyn community center a Pakistani American non-profit organized a mega job fair and resource event the other day dozens of city agencies and the city officials including a large number of Pakistani American and diverse community of Brooklyn attended this beautiful event Please watch an exclusive report. Uh, my name is Professor Siddiqui. I'm the director of the uh, Apna Community Center and the, and the Apna Daycare. This is the first time in a very long time that a job fair and a resource center has been set up within a community in the Brighton Beach area. Uh, we, we felt that the grassroots requ required a lot of those because they had the inability to go out and get jobs and uh, approach the different agencies. So we brought them over here right on the streets within the community and in the neighborhood so it gives them easy access and provide them with all the opportunities. We have almost 39 vendors over here who bring different services uh, from the police department to Metro Plus to, uh, to the Himes office and you know job resource centers, centers plan. So there are a lot of job opportunities since the census, the 2020 census is here and they have a lot more job opportunities that they are offering and we want to bring it to the community. So our try is that we can bring them to our community so that we can emancipate them so that they can take a part of this. It's more than that they don't know how to go, they don't have an initiative. So our try is that we can bring them to vendors here and we can introduce them and then we can help them. अब हमारे पास न्यूयॉर्क सिटी के जो आए हैं डिपार्टमेंट्स उसमें जितने भी सैंडी पे अफेक्ट हुए थे उनके लिए सब को दे एलिजिबल हैं उनको तीन हजार डॉलर के करीब मिल सकता है because of what happened to, uh, during Sandy, the damage that they have, so they can get ready for the next phase. In, God forbid it doesn't happen, but if any of the storm or disaster happens, they should really be ready in, in preparing themselves what to do. तो सैंडी में तो हमारे साथ काफी दुश्वारियां � but uh, it was a big learning experience for us. So I, I, I'm glad that uh, you know you are here today and uh, you know meet with different people and see what's going on. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Iram Hanif. I'm the Brooklyn Community Center ki program director. Today we have the honor that the Community Center has elected 35 different city agencies, ko, elected representatives, ko, uske alawa community based organizations. We are table at this event. And here there is a lot of information about internships se related, summer programs. प्रोग्राम से रिलेटेड पार्ट टाइम और फुल टाइम जॉब से रिलेटेड यहाँ पे मेरे पास मौजूद हैं 2020 सेंसस की टीम मौजूद है कौंसलमैन खाइम की टीम मौजूद है कौंसलमैन मार्क ट्रेगर कौंसलमैन आर एफ एल स्पेनाल के ऑफिस से रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स हैं इसके अलावा हमारे पास असेंबली मैन स्टीवन सेम्ब्रोवेट्स असेंबली मेंबर मिचेल फ्रांटिस के ऑफिस से रिप्रेजेंटेटिव मौजूद हैं इसके अलावा हमारे पास एन एच एस ब्रोकलन सो ये एक प्लेटफॉर्म है हमारी कम्युनिटी के सारे लोगों के लिए कि वो यहाँ पे आएं और वो सारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सिटी एजेंसीज और कम्युनिटी बेस्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस जो के यहाँ पे अक्रॉस द न्यूयॉर्क सिटी अक्रॉस न्यूयॉर्क स्टेट मौजूद हैं उन सब के रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स यहाँ पे मौजूद हैं मेरे पास 35 पार्टिसिपेटिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस elected officials or city agencies are available and you can take the advantage of this. Hi, my name is Maggie Lee and I represent Centers Healthcare for nursing facilities and we will be having a brand new nursing facility that will be opening up in Brooklyn at the Crown Heights area that um, will be in the five boroughs that will be having the only unit that has the Southeast Asian cultural awareness where we will have staff that speaks the language and we serve the food just to make it more comfortable for the patients to, for their rehabilitation for physical therapy and getting better just because we do um, not a lot of places offer this and we have the cultural awareness for the community and we also offer transportation which is a plus for a lot of family members just because they're they're away from home away from their comfort zone already so being at a nursing facility it could be a drag for them sometimes so having the cultural awareness somebody that speaks their language they don't have that co they don't have that language barrier they could talk to the staff and ask for whatever they that they need and we serve halal food also too and also provide transportation for the family members so they don't have an excuse to not come and visit so it actually helps everything better and other than just the rehabilitation and the physical therapy we also have a lot of activities that helps the patient put them in a much more positive mindset a positive vibe just for their recovery as well ye bata rahi thi maggie inka naam hai represent karti hain centers healthcare ko jo ke nursing home ki ek facility brand new state of the art facility lekar aa rahe hain purely for the southeast asian population 
उसका अभी सेंटर्स हेल्थ केयर के नाम से ये न्यू इनका फैसिलिटी आ रही है जो कि समर में इसका ओपनिंग ओपनिंग होगी और ये वो फैसिलिटी है जो इस तरह की नर्सिंग फैसिलिटी अब तक कहीं पे भी मौजूद नहीं है जहाँ पे स्पेसिफिकली साउथ ईस्ट एशिया के लोगों के लिए उनका आ, उनके मज़हब उनके आ, उनकी आ, खाने का हलाल खाना वहाँ पर मौजूद होगा स्टाफ आपकी अपनी लैंग्वेज बोलने वाला सारा स्टाफ मौजूद होगा मैन एंड वुमेन के लिए सेपरेट सेक्शन बने हुए हैं और उसी तरीके से स्टाफ उनको सारा डील ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट उनके पास रिहेबिलेशन uh, सेंटर uh, भी मौजूद है फिजिकल थेरेपी भी मौजूद है और उसके साथ साथ यहाँ पे uh, उन लोगों के uh, मुख्तलिफ सोशलाइजेशन एक्टिविटीज़ में भी रखेंगे और ये ट्रांसपोर्टेशन भी बनाएंगे प्रोवाइड करेंगे फ्री ऑफ चार्ज फैमिली मेम्बर्स को ताकि वो जल्द जल्दी uh, अपने रेजिडेंट्स uh, को विज़िट कर सकें तो ये पहली एक मुनफरद फैसिलिटी है जो कि साउथ ईस्ट एशिया के लोगों के लिए बनाई जा रही है और बहुत जल्द ये लोग अनाउंस करेंगे आपको इसका इस फैसिलिटी का ओपन हाउस जहां पे सारी फैमिलीज जाके उसको विज़िट कर सकती हैं एंड आई एम वेरी श्योर दैट इट वुड बी अ वेरी गुड फैसिलिटी फॉर ऑल दी साउथ ईस्ट एशिया कम्यूनिटी सो टू गेट मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट सेंटर्स हेल्थ केयर नर्सिंग फैसिलिटी एट द साउथ ईस्ट एशियन यूनिट इज गोइंग टू बी एट हंड्रेड फाइव फोर सिक्स थ्री जीरो नाइन जीरो और सेवन वन एट टू फाइव टू Nine eight zero zero. Thank you. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, we have a small family school here in Shipset Bay, where we teach people different kind of professions and uh, English. It's a uh, very family oriented and job oriented school. It's a quick courses that were given uh, during the day, evening, or on the weekends. So we help people with resume and finding the job. uh more than welcome to be on your tv thank you very much and it's pleasure talking to you thank you my name is alan quay i'm the avp of uh, business development at uh, center plan for healthy living uh center plan for healthy living basically is doing the uh, mltcp means that manage long term care for those people who in needs of uh, home care uh, for more than 120 days basically this is a um, medicaid program uh in order to eligible uh to to be part of the member uh, you need to be at least 18 years or 21 years or over and uh, with a uh, active medicaid having me so much edp school it's a adult learning education center right here in sheepshead bay brooklyn we've been in business for 25 years we accept financial aid we have different courses from home attendant medical assisting ultrasound uh esl uh we have lots of different things so if you're interested in uh furthering your career or learning english you should definitely give us a call sheep said bay 1601 vorhees avenue edp school uh like i said 25 years in business we must be doing something right so sure, my name is benjamin tan i'm one of the tan acquisition specialists with center spans for healthy living so what we do we are a managed long term care health insurance company we offer different type of medicare service medicare services to um medicare medicare recipient we also here to give back to the community uh we are one of the fastest growing mltc company and we have a lot of opportunities so that's why we are here to give back to the community Um I mean we have different offices located in different locations we also recently opened up an o- office in Florida um and we reach out to different type of communities we are, we have all five boroughs so I mean we are fast at scoring so we have a lot of opportunity for different type of um job seekers I would say I'm Mark Kagan I work for New York City controller Scott Stringer as a community liaison Uh, our office actively participates in many events of APNA Brooklyn Community Center and today is a beautiful day and we actively participate our controller's office publishes a lot of information literature in Urdu language as you can see about housing report and immigrant manual services and many other uh, newsletters we always available to all communities including Pakistani American community so we are very glad uh, that uh, APNA community center welcomed our office and we always cooperate hi i'm colin with the department of small business services where our goal is to help businesses start operate and grow in new york city and i'm here to advertise our business prep risk assessment and grant program this is for businesses that were impacted by hurricane sandy we have a risk assessment and grant to help them out get them better prepared for whatever comes their way in the future. It's a grant of up to $3,000 and a risk assessment to help you get prepared for fire, flood or any sort of emergency. Yes, um good afternoon. It's, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here. 
Uh, my name is El Ricky Tuller, and I'm running for the New York City Council in the 45th Councilmatic District. I'm here because I, I believe that uh, as an immigrant, I was born in Jamaica, and so I've always been supportive of immigrant organizations. And I believe that um, as someone who is an immigrant myself, I will work tirelessly on behalf of organizations like this who have been doing an outstanding job in the community. And, and so we have to make sure that these organizations are well supported. And so I'm stopping in to show support um, for this event today.